system here Nick Carson since 2017, but good to see him wearing the gloves once again. And we also know the goalkeepers, they mature at an older age, and so getting seasoning is, is a good thing. It's going to take a little time. Nice job by Kareniak getting this one back. Here's Augustine Williams trying to send Kareniak up the left side into the area. August, I should say Kareniak still on possession. Augustine Williams trailing the play and cleared away. Good idea there by the two players. It just did not work out for the Galaxy. I think his touch was just a little too heavy. Kareniak and then it allowed space to be closed down by goalkeeper and the defense. Open start. Very much true to the nature that we've seen from the parent clubs of both of these two teams at the next level. Talked to Steve Chirondolo yesterday and he told me, hey, this has been whirlwind. He's only been in the job for six weeks, but he's liked what he's seen. This very young team, as we mentioned, it's an entirely new squad. No players from the 2020 Las Vegas Lights, so they feel that this is the dawn of a new era. Yeah, complete flip. I'm not sure how much time he's had with the LAFC players, so he might be seeing them for a first time as well to get an idea of what they're going to be for his club. Nice job defensively here by Aguirre for Galaxy 2, getting it back out to the near side. Josh Drack, he'll send forward, looking for Augustine Williams on the run. Out comes the goalkeeper, Romero. He will pick up. Edwards. Watch there by Jonathan Perez. He got on the pitch in Seattle on Sunday. Perez did for a few minutes. Big moment for him. Yep. Big week for Perez as well. He's got unlimited potential. It's a big season for him, though. He wants to make that tried and true next step up to the next level. Here's Molina. It'll come on forward. Offside flag is up. Masovsky just beyond the line there in position back to Galaxy 2. And Masovsky wanted that earlier. It's about a yard offside. The AR had a really good look at it. They're moving it well, moving it with pace. They like to play in a high tempo, Las Vegas. It's a good ball on the right side for Perez trying to turn the corner. Uche clears it out. This is a good throwing. It's a similar tactical setup that we saw from LA Galaxy 2 on Friday night. Real no change of shape, but some changes of personnel. Four changes, in fact. And Perez getting a chance to put his head down at a full head of steam, summoning Uche out of his central defensive position, his cover there on the left-hand side for lights. Galaxy 2 captain, Vasquez. Drac, Aguirre, Gonzalez switching out the right side. Here's Lamb. Good inside run from Perez. This will come on in for Augustine Williams. Gets through his first defender. Second one there to break that one up. Quezada closing him down. Again, Gonzalez, Perez. And back to Fercranis. Adrian Gonzalez. Not quite a first baseman, but it's all right. <laughs> Tell you what, he really looked the part coming in as a sub on Friday. We saw Taylor Davila start as the number six on Friday, but Davila going to the bench is one of those four changes. And Chancellor Gonzalez to show his where is it. It's his natural position is what Junior Gonzalez tells me. He's very good destroying opposing moves and playing out of the back. Here's Duke. Able to find Edwards. Again, Duke still on possession here. Good job defensively along the far side. He'll run out of room. Galaxy get it back on the throw-in. I think this is going to be all about mobility. and That's kind of the system and the strength that it, the LAFC philosophy is really predicated on. And we're seeing it reflected here. They're moving it around, playing that short passing game, trying to get it wide, but also keeping that mobility and that high tempo is going to be key for them. Yeah, but you could also be overly aggressive and be taken advantage of on a counterattack if the Galaxy can get a ball out early. Here's Perez. Able to step through one tackle, not the second as it's cleared away over the far side touch. This will be a throw-in. 0-0 zero, zero early moments here with Christian Miles, Joe Totino inside seven minutes. 
and Las Vegas is very much in the same position LA was just five nights ago. All that pent up steam for those players that haven't had a chance to play at the next level with the parent club at LAFC. They've been waiting for months for this chance to get out on the pitch for the first time. Track will find Kareniak now. First step into the area, into the six, gets a shot at goal, saved by Romero. Looked in towards center, but decided, you know what, I'm going to have a go about five yards out. And Kai Kareniak, he's a kid that's come off a preseason injury, not back to his old self, trying to get back to full match fitness, but this is a brilliant outside in run. Gets goal side of the defender and gets the shot off. Already leaps and bounds starting much brighter than we saw here from the Dutch American on Friday night. Possession here to Las Vegas on the throw in. Cazada will take it. Good marking up here by Galaxy 2. It'll go back defensively. Collected this time by Sepulveda. Another throw. Prisostomo able to play this one in towards center. He'll find Aroma. Earned the foul and a free kick. Quick restart. It's going to be whistled down. We'll do it again. And a referee with a little warning to Aguirre. That's the warning. The next one, Yellow. we could see him going to the cards. Daroma has been a real live wire. Quick to the ball, showing, dropping, linking really well for Las Vegas Lights. Here's Edwards now. Watch there by Hernandez. We haven't called his name much yet in the opening minutes. Good job here by Vasquez winning it back. Kareniak now will turn towards the sideline. Three defenders around him. He'll just play it into space. And it'll find the touchline. And throw it. A little overzealous there from Kai Kareniak. Almost a case of hit and hope, but they didn't get much too far for Augie Williams. L.A. trying to garner a little bit more share of possession than we saw on Friday, and that will be aided by Augie Williams, who's able to drop back into that midfield, get an extra man with his hold-up play. There's Gonzalez, you'll find Karenia. Good ball movement here onto the left side, dragged back into the area, and it's a slide tackle cleared away. Got all ball, physical play, but it, a clean play. Yeah, just a brilliant challenge there from Krasostovo, but a nice little one-two on this left-hand side between Drak and Hernandez. And that's the experience that Las Vegas Lights are going to need out of Krasostovo, an experienced campaigner who played with Orange County Soccer Club last year. Already with over 50 appearances at this level, they're going to need that older head to bring some calm and composure to the center of the park. Pressing high here. Nice job by Duke. Able to get around Aguirre but into midfield in possession here for Las Vegas. Molina. Quezada once again. He'll play in towards center. Uche. Watch there by Hernandez. Forced to the far side. Edwards. He'll launch long. And this one right onto the goalkeeper, Vom Stieg. Better start here from LAFC. I, I, I should say LA Galaxy, too. <laughs> Speaking of that, Galaxy and LAFC on Saturday, right in this building for the first El Trafico of 2021. Fans will be right here at Dignity Health Sports Park. Limited amount, of course. Check it out, LAGalaxy.com, to learn how you can join the action right here at the dig from the stands. Kareniak gets on this first ball. Can't find it, though, on the deflection. It'll come back out to midfield. Gonzalez on to the right side. Perez has some help here. Nice overlap. The cross right into the goalkeeper, Romero. There seems to be a real synergy between the midfield and the attack, something we didn't see on Friday evening. And Andre Gonzalez really playing the part early on. Good run by Owen Lamb there. Here's Jennings. He earned himself a corner kick out of this. First corner of the evening. Yeah, credit Josh Drack at left back here for LA Galaxy who made that long busting run. He was going box to box there, just couldn't quite keep it in. And here's a kid, it's a converted winger dropping back into a more of an outside fullback role. 
was one of the more impressive performers and Carson already had a chance to play with the senior team against New England in preseason as well and showed really well. It's be a left footed ball that'll bend in towards goal. Jennings makes the run to the near post and the ball goes backside, knocked away. For Kranis got on the end of it. Ahead it comes now to Augustine Williams. He'll play into the middle of the park. Here comes Perez, nice first touch. Williams making the sprint down the middle of the park. He will not get to this first. Romero did well. Fortunate there. The one step away. And Augustine Williams has an open goal. He'll play it on the left side. Hernandez will run this one down. Takes it into the area. Now plays it across. It'll come on loose for Perez. Could not find the handle there as Romero touched it just enough. Back the other way, Edwards. Just some great flowing moves and a lovely ball played early out of the back for Perez and to release and reward that run from Augustine Williams. I mean, they like to gamble in Vegas, right? Well, we already seen it from the goalkeeper, Tomas Romero, who comes about 10 yards outside of his area and wins that gamble. And I like the moves for the Galaxy, and I like the way they're winning it back as well. Hernandez playing it right across, and unfortunately no one there to convert it at that far post, just a little bit too far behind Perez. Here come the Galaxy once again, track. Big rainbow of a cross there to the far side. Perez will try to save it and does uh, for the moment. And it goes out of play over the far side. Touch for a throw it. And Junior Gonzalez said his team didn't execute the game plan on Friday evening and didn't move it quickly enough. And you can already see the increase in tempo. Quick, short passing. There seems to be a little bit more urgency, a little bit more fire than we saw here on Friday night against the Republic. They held their own up until the end, and the substitutions uh, I don't think decided it, was a, it. I don't think it was a question of effort. It was there, and that's one thing Junior told me. Is he was proud of the effort they gave. It was you know, a goal coming eight minutes from time. Just not quite executing the game plan the way they had in training leading up to that game. I had a chance to go back to the training ground and work on it. And of course, a few changes doesn't hurt as well. Here's Gazada find Jennings. This could be offside. The flag is up. It's still saved by Vom Stieg. Lasovsky again off. Second time tonight. But it, you know, for me, I'm okay with that. If my goal scorer is getting caught offside and he's trying to stretch the defense, that ball could have come out maybe a little earlier, but he was well offside. But this is going to give for Kratis and Jesus Vasquez something to think about. He's going to play on that last edge, that last line of those defenders in between those two center backs, Masolski. We know he's got the mobility to profit in those types of situations. Guy scored five times at the next level for LAFC in 2020. Here's Edwards along the far side, forced back into midfield. This will be a foul against Perez. Free kick. So a quarter hour into this one. Pretty even so far. I think Las Vegas has had the better of the possession in the offensive end. I think defensively, though, I like what I see from LA, uh, LA Galaxy, too. There's a little bit more of an edge. A little more resiliency to LA Galaxy, too, right now than we saw. They're a little slow out of the gates at times. It, you know, some of that comes with some off-season rust after that long layoff. Much sharper, much better beginning. Here's Lamb, trying to send Perez. Trying to turn the corner here and pushed off the ball by Edwards and he's not gonna win that battle because just the strength of Edwards and the size of Edwards there, but keeps on fighting. That's what you like to see. Aguirre, sending the through ball for Kareniak. Back to the goalkeeper, Romero and clear. Galaxy have players back on this counter. Chrysostomo, Jennings, and out. It's a good throw in. Pressure there from Drack to force Jennings to come short. Not the best of balls out. And Las Vegas just trying to find that final piece of the jigsaw in that final third. Get that quality ball through. We've seen Masovsky off. 
couple of times already. But they have threatened. Here's Von Steeg knocking over to Drack. Jeroma. Jeroma's been the best player right now in terms of his energy, putting himself in the right positions. No shortage of graft. We're seeing a little change here. Jennings dropping off to the right. Molina coming into a central role. They'll rotate those players with Steve Chirondo Lotomi trying to add some wrinkles and some different looks. It's a free kick. Foul. It's Galaxy 2. Chrysostomo will find Uche. Potential turnover here. Augustine Williams will get it now. Hernandez taking off the ball. In position back to Las Vegas. Daroma. This will be a foul now against the Galaxy. A delay call against LA. I think he's going to try and play the advantage there. And he's going to have a look. And award this free kick. Adrian Gonzalez will have a discussion with our referee. Look at it again here. He's playing everywhere. They try to play, and then Gonzalez comes in, he lets it go, and calls it back and awards the free kick right here. He's calling, he's calling Gonzalez with the free kick. He's giving him a verbal warning. I'm not so sure. It was such a chaotic play. What, I, I don't know that he can disappear from the position that he was in. He's flying around. It's, it's a little frenetic. I mean, let's be honest. What happens when you have such a young group early on in the season after such a long off-season layoff, especially for lights? The unknown quantity. It's going to be interesting as the match progresses and the team that just came together. And the pieces are there, though. Yeah. Certainly players that have you know, shown well at the next level have the potential to have a good, successful run here at USL Championship. But it's all about mirroring the senior team, the parent club, and playing in the same philosophy, adhering to the same principles, and you can see it out there on the pitch. Here's Hernandez now for Galaxy 2. Try to knock it back to Perez. Could have been cleaner there. Quickly, Edwards sending forward. Here's Gonzalez. Switches over to Drack. Tries to snare it. Jennings able to overtake that. Masofsky to send forward right into Vasquez. G2 almost found themselves in a mistake there. And Drack just lost his footing. He's put under pressure on that ball from Gonzalez who was isolated in a 2v1, a little bit of an overload there. Made it difficult for Drac, who tried to atone but couldn't quite do it. Fortunately, well supported by Jesus Vasquez. So Edwards will take this throw in. We enter the 21st minute of this contest. Entertaining match so far. Bad return there. The throw in here for Galaxy 2. Hey, the USL is committed to supporting the LGBTQ plus community. Through the Forever Proud Project, the USL will strive to create safe and welcoming environments for all fans, players, employees, and partners. Learn more at uslsoccer.com slash forward forever hyphen proud. We continue Kareniak now down the middle of the park on the wrong side of Augustine Williams. It'll come back to Romero. He tries to square it out. Williams takes advantage of that. Kareniak now on his right foot thinking about the shot. He'll fire to the back post and not enough on it. Romero able to make the save. He's nearly caught two minds there. He wanted to play in Augie Williams who he looked up and saw the offside position and was forced to call his own number. In the end, really not enough power to beat the keeper. Here's Masofsky. Watch there by Gonzalez. Quezada getting forward, looking for Jennings. He's onside along the end line. His attempt to cross is blocked. He gets another chance at it. Drack able to clear up high into the air. Gonzalez will clear the penalty area, but not far enough. Quezada 
Close there by Gonzalez. However, Quezada on possession one more time. Good work there by Gonzalez. Slows things up, gets it out of play, and the Galaxy can regroup defensively. Another good flowing move from Lights. Working down this right-hand side. I like the movement of Jennings, who timed his run perfectly to stay on side. So come back out. Edwards will have to chase it down. Jennings on the left side, working with Edwards now. Left corner of the area. He cuts it back onto his right foot, tried to put it back on his left. For Kranis, able to get in front of that and get some help clearing it out. Galaxy try to break out. Good work here. This time by Hernandez. He lost an edge. Perez squares it over. Aguirre has a lot of room here. Take up the space. He's got help to his right and his left. Here comes Kareniak. One-time cross back in towards the spot. Galaxy wanted a handball. Here's the shot by Kareniak. Off the defender, Uche, and out of play. I think he took that run right off the midsection there. Corner kick for LA Galaxy 2, and I wonder if there was, in fact, a handball in the box. Yeah, it looked that they might have had a claim for the case. Of course, no VAR, a USL championship level here, but certainly a good flowing move from the Galaxy down this left-hand side. It was Kareniak trying to play it, just simply squaring it across, doing exactly what he should. Is a little too far behind Augie Williams, but a fortuitous bounce puts it right back into the path for the LA Galaxy 2 winger. Some 11th hour last-ditch defending back there for Las Vegas Lights. Another look at it here. Simple ball across. They have to deal with it. Able to get the block in as it comes out. Hey, so Uche was the man down, but he'll walk it off and be able to continue. Corner kick here for Galaxy 2. Hernandez will take it. Left foot of ball. He bends it towards the back side of the six. Cleared on out. Vasquez will collect. Here's Lamb, fights it in, looking for Augustine Williams, for Sostomo with the clearance to midfield. Drack settles on back, and the Galaxy can recycle here. Gonzalez. Vasquez once again, to the left side, Hernandez. He's got Drack making a good inside run. He'll collect it there, side of the area, plays it down low. Williams with the shot, and just wide of the far post. It'll be a goal kick. Thought it was deflected. Just a super move from Los Angeles. And how about the understanding with Drack and Hernandez? Drack makes that inside channel runs, puts it on a platter for Augie Williams. That's 2020. Augie Williams buries that hands down, but the defender, I think, doing just enough to hinder the L.A. striker. 0-0. Zero, zero. Pretty even match now. Galaxy 2 getting into their rhythm. For Kranis, you'll find Lamb. He's got Perez making the run. Lamb staying with him. It'll come down to Yagiri. And back now to Gonzalez. Again, Lamb wide. Perez making the run into the area. Good ball here. Perez sends it back towards the spot. Nobody there that time. Hernandez can't find the handle. Good job by Gonzalez keeping this alive for L.A. However, the pass could have been better. He'll pick up a yellow card, I imagine. Or the foul going the other way. Man, it came that before that Galaxy's last collision. Way. Believing that coming together that involved it. Just a oh, I see. And it's a little bit late. He was shoved from behind Gonzalez. The foul should go against Duke then, I believe. Quick restart here for Galaxy 2. A Geary's shot. It's wide. He had a clean look at goal. And Las Vegas asleep at the wheel, defending that set piece. They took it quickly. Hernandez recognized it, played it, and Aguirre just drags it wide. The LA Galaxy really getting some good looks right now. So come on back for Kranis. Gonzalez made a great defensive stop there when the Galaxy lost possession because if it gets past him, they're off to the races. They've been very impressed with Gonzalez both in his role as a sub on Friday as well as this evening. It's been a real strong start. And Junior Gonzalez likened him to Adam Saldana, who featured for 
Galaxy 2 last season at, at the top level this season. He's got a little bit more steel in him. He's done a good job of breaking up the play, as we've seen, as well as distributing. Well, he's playing the position where you have to have some swagger, right? That's a very important position. He is the shield and kind of the last line of defense in front of the defense, so to speak. But he's also the linchpin and everything starting through him. Good ball here by Aguirre. You'll find Drac. A little early pass there. Now he'll just take the shot. A little more patience, I think, would have been a better decision there, but a goal kick. And reverting to those attacking instincts, Drac, much like his counterpart on the right hand side, Lamb, really a natural winger. Those converted fullbacks. As a result, they can bomb on and really add an attacking dimension out wide. But that's that's the that's the name of the game these days, right? Looking for wing backs more so than out and out wingers. Yeah, Tim Alexander Arnold Arnold over at Liverpool, you see him making those bombing runs. Just hugging the touchline. A lot is asked of wide players in the modern game, and Drac, as well as Lamb, both have the engine to accomplish that. He can get up and down. It's the remembering to get back down. <laughs> is the issue. Ball goes out of play over the far side. Touch. Throw it. Hey, since 1947, Select has been the leader in soccer ball quality and innovation. Select is the official ball supplier of the USL Championship and many of the elite leagues throughout Europe. For the latest Select products and special offers, please visit SelectSportAmerica.com. Uche, you'll find Edwards, Chrysostomo, and back it goes to Edwards, quickly in for Duke, Jennings, able to keep possession here, working on for Kranis, and the big defender goes down low to poke it away. Kranis caught out just a little bit there, but did well to atone and win it, sensational tackle to win it back. Another long ball down the middle, knocked away by Fercranis. Lamb will have it on the right side. He has some space in front of him. He'll take up all that green to the stripe. On to the wrong side of Perez, though, as it goes out of play. They need to find a, a better communication there, those two players. It's been a good half an hour, though, on both sides of the ball. LA's had some quality chances, a real good spell in the last five to seven minutes or so, opening up, able to get in behind that Las Vegas back line. And well, Vegas have shown that fluid movement at times. Had a good spell about 10 to 15 minutes ago. Just trying to time their runs, having it come together, and just trying to get in sync. Here's Quesada. Molina. Track. Foul. And just came across him. And he knows it. Molina just stepped out in front, let it run across his own body. And Drac just diving in, and he'll learn those dark arts. He'll learn how to make those challenges. He plays more of this position. He liked the resiliency. He liked the ability to stand up the opposing attacker as well. Here's Uche sending long down the middle of the park, looking for Molina. Vasquez is there. Aguirre. Chrysostomo comes in hard, wins the ball back. Duke, left side, good ball here, on goal, over the top and out of play. Mosovsky making that late run, just too high, goal kick. Mosovsky's movement, exploiting the space, finding the gap, lovely little layoff, and he just tries to pick out that top corner and bend it in, a little too strong. Good move though, just behind Owen Lamb on the right hand side of that G2 defense. Here's Vasquez off the goal kick. You'll find Drac. Tried to go into the middle of the park. He's fortunate to find Augustine Williams. Aguide, nice job on the right side. This time for Perez. We'll run this one down. Williams down the middle of the park. Kareniak ahead of him. On the right foot. The cross coming in. A bit short. Second ball kept alive here. It'll come to Aguide. Left side it goes. Williams now. His left footed ball into the area. Second ball, Hernandez, can he settle? He can't, unfortunately. However, Drac able to win this one, slaloming through, still has it. Again, Williams, flag stays down here. Here's the cross, knocked away to the top of the area. Lamb 
pushing forward. Plenty of white shirts in the offensive end now for Galaxy 2. Gonzalez trying to shake Jennings and does. Vasquez, it's a good sequence here for the home team. On to the right side. Perez. It's pushed up against the line. This will go out for a throw-in. I think once he turned his back to Edwards, he found himself in trouble. He just needed to touch that ball into space. Let Edwards fly by and go from there. Gonzalez. No foul outside the area there. It'll come back to Romero. You know, as, as I watch these collisions and sometimes the Galaxy losing these 50-50 balls, it reminds me of what Junior Gonzalez mentioned ahead of the Sacramento match. We need to match the physicality of these teams. Sometimes we will see with such a young team as the LA Galaxy 2, sometimes they're outmatched physically and sometimes a little bit lightweight, but they've stood it up very, very well tonight. Not necessarily the same type of opponent that they're facing on Friday with a big, strong Sacramento team. They've been up for the challenge, able to win more of those 50-50 balls, but matching the physicality of the opponent is going to be paramount. Good job by Williams, sending track, forcing the player defender. Quezada to slide tackle and clear it out of play. This will be a throw-in for Galaxy 2. Williams back in towards center. Aguirre able to play this out the far side of the center circle. Hernandez now will settle. He's got help ahead of him with Perez as well as Lamb. That ball needs to go. Now he sends the land, they'll have to bring it back. A little late there in his decision, I believe. For Kranis. Here's Vasquez. Not a good ball, back the other way. Here comes the counterattack. Jennings now. For Kranis will come over to help out. Two defenders on the play. This could be a foul and it will be. And a yellow card to Marcus for Kranis coming up. Just dove in, didn't need to make that challenge. Mistake made by Jesus Vasquez, putting for Krennis under pressure as Jennings was away and he came in. For Krennis taking one for the team, that's what they call, they used to call the professional foul, but they say tactical foul these days, so they say. But I, think, I agree with you. I think uh, for Krennis didn't know exactly where they were on the field. I don't think Jennings was gonna be able to turn the corner that quickly, just stay with them and guide him into the corner and you would have had a little help, but easy for me to say, I'm not the, the one running at full speed. Hey, Cal Jennings, indeed a handful. A lot of this, this front trio of attackers are for Las Vegas. Molina sends it in, nice job by Von Stieg, pulling it down. Haven't seen a lot of action from Von Stieg, that's a good sign if you're Junior Gonzalez in LA Galaxy 2, that he's looked sure-handed, he's looked assured and very comfortable it's been a long time since Justin Bomsteeg has played football. And any time, I don't know how much training you go through and how many times you're put through the paces by your goalkeeper's coach. Beating, getting game minutes, nothing could substitute for that. Good job by Williams gets in front of this. The battle, though, won by Duke. Ahead it goes to Masofsky. Good job by Lamb gets in front of that through ball. The Galaxy come out with possession. Drack. Sending forward, he'll find the touchline and out of play for a throw in Las Vegas Lights FC. USL on ESPN continues Thursday night, May the 6th on ESPN Deportes with an early season cross-divisional showdown. For the first time ever, Rio Grande Valley FC welcomes Landon Donovan's San Diego Loyal SC as the USL Championship hits full stride. RGV and San Diego from the Valley, May 6th, 8 p.m. Eastern, on ESPN Deportes. Here comes Daroma sending Masofsky in, another offside, and possession back to Galaxy 2. And that might be a discussion at halftime from Chirondolo saying, hey, I appreciate it, but you have to also be a little closer. And yeah, that might have been the tightest one of the three in which Masofsky's been flagged. Kareniak now for Galaxy 2. Here's Vasquez for Kranis under pressure here from Jennings. He'll send it back to his keeper, Vom Stieg. Jennings barreling in onto the right side of the go. Lamb, watch there by Daroma. Perez with a cheeky pass. It did not find its target. 
and Deroma gets back, gets possession. And Las Vegas really playing with a high line right now. They want to set up camp in the Galaxy half, create those overloads, put the pressure on that back for the Galaxy, looking to shrink the field themselves as well. Here's Edwards on the far side. Chrysostomo. It's really tight in there. Good job by Vasquez reading the play. Cannot get the pass away, though. Duke and the foul called against the Galaxy. Delay foul against called against Vasquez. Quickly the restart here sent to the right side for Molina. The ball was rolling. We'll do it again. Do this one one more time. <laughs> butterflies, Joe, butterflies. So much energy being expended. Edwards charging up the left side here for Las Vegas. He'll send in towards the spot. Too much on that one. Molina could not get on the end of it. It's going to be a throw in here for Galaxy 2. And he holds up his hand. And Edwards, who did really well, made a brilliant run. Good explosion to pace it. Just fizzed one across to kind of caught in two minds there. Wanted to cross, or should he have kept it low? In the end, just going over the touchline and out of play for a Galaxy throw. It's kind of indicative the way it's gone, though, for Las Vegas. And they've had some spry, quick flashes of brilliance in the middle of the park, but just trying to get that final piece of the jigsaw, that link between midfield and the attack, is just what has eluded him. Well, this, these are things that happen in your first matches of the season, right? The final pass, not quite there. Things like that. And we're seeing it right now. Here's Drek. Williams in back comes. Aguirre. Wheel this around. Nice job. Lamb. He's got Perez. You'll find him there. Watch by Edwards. Hernandez there to help out. It'll come into him. Right on his left foot. Fires away and wide of the far post. He had a good look. And unfortunately wide there. A galaxy keep on knocking on the door. They haven't been able to find that netting yet. He's been very quiet this evening, and as the Galaxy have gone more direct, he's kind of been the odd man out. His first look at goal, and he has one of the sweetest left feet, of, as I've mentioned, in past games in the entire league, but just a shade off the target. Good job here by Vasquez getting in front. The clearance, won by DeRoma, though. Here's Edwards. A shot by it. By Hernandez going back to that. This is going to be a throw in for Galaxy 2 off the deflection. That was a sweet spot for him on his left foot, right? Right side of the area at the top of the box, put it on his left foot to send it high to the left corner. He'll just hover around the edge of the penalty area. Good ball here for Jennings. Watch there by Fercranis. Now sends it hard down low across the six, and Vasquez able to clear it away. Corner kick. And good movement there from Jennings to get in behind the fullback. He did he, everything he could. He had the run from Molina at the near post. A simple square ball across. L.A. forced to deal with it. They do concede the corner. This man really leads by example. He's the old head. The captain by experience. Jesus Vasquez at 26 years of age. And he's the organizer back there. Edwards trot not into the area. Here's the cross. Top of the six it goes for Kranis gets on the ball. It is going to be another corner for Las Vegas. It's good tutelage for young for Kranis. He is really high potential. To well to get ahead on it and steer it clear. The zonal marking system. So he played in, another one by Fercranis with the clearance not far enough. Duke sends it back in. Vasquez with the header this time down low. Another shot from distance. Chrysostomo that time and way out of play for a goal kick. He was leaning too far back and once it left his feet, he knew it. Well high of the mark. Quickly bumps deep to midfield. He'll find Drac being closed down by Molina, who does well defensively there. And this will be a foul on Drac. Nice pace there by Molina getting back to get that ball. Duke, he shut down, throwing. He's so impressed with these interchangeable parts because we saw Jennings start high on the right-hand side. Molina also dropping into his central role. It's almost interchangeable parts in that front trio of attackers. Keep LA Galaxy guessing. 
Hernandez may have hurt himself, losing the, his footing. We'll see. Here comes Edwards down the middle of the park now for Las Vegas, looking to send Masofsky. Good job by Vasquez stepping up. Here's Gonzalez taken off the ball by Edwards. Nice job this time by Aguirre. This looks good for Galaxy 2. They got to get that ball downfield quickly. On to the right side, Perez. Switched over, looking for Augustine Williams. The header towards the back post could not get enough on it. And Romero will pick up. A little late on that final ball from Hernandez. And allowed Quezada to make the adjustment and contest with Augie Williams for that header. Augie doing really well to win it. Not enough power, though, to be the keeper of the likes of Romero. Just on that breakup, you just have to have the confidence to play that ball like that. Aguirre, he'll find Perez. He's got Hernandez trailing. Perez trying to send it on through and cleared out. Now Hernandez. Watched by two defenders. Working into the area, cleared out over the far side. Throw in. Hernandez is very good in tight spaces. Ball seemingly Velcro to his feet. Enable Jenkins to make those moves to create space for himself and lay it off. That's the type of game, the type of player he is. Good switch here. Here's Drak. Kareniak. Not get through his first defender. Quezada able to clear. Drak will slow it down. Possession back to Las Vegas. Some positive moments. In the early stages, Guy Kareniak, he's drifted out of the game a little bit, but they're pushing a little higher on him and making space much tighter. Can't, not enough time to turn and attack and to face those fullbacks. Augustine Williams putting the pressure on here. Another throw in. A couple of minutes in front of halftime. No injuries at this point, so I can't imagine we'll have much stoppage. It's been a fun game to watch. It's been open. Chances have been there. Their goalkeeper too busy. And most of this being played in the middle third, but some good moments and some attractive style on display for both teams. Yeah, I think both managers will be pleased with the first half and maybe some tweaks here and there, but, but nothing major. Here's Williams. Vasquez. back it comes to Fercranis and on the right side Hernandez now he's got Lamb to his right Perez in the channel you'll find Lamb watch there by Edwards Johnny Perez just outside the six puts it back onto his right foot tries to go top corner near side and he flights it over the bar good move really slick stuff from young Johnny Perez you can see why he handed him his MLS debut on Saturday afternoon up in Seattle and trying to make something out of nothing here. Just a simple ball in from Lamb. Back to goal. It's not his strong suit. And able to wrong foot CC Uche. Just get the shot off even though it was from a real acute angle. All right. Our referee points to midfield. That is 45 minutes here. Both clubs have gone the distance.